If you're watching this right now, you're probably wondering, should I pursue a career in cybersecurity? Will learning cybersecurity skills be worth it? Or what if I get into cybersecurity and then realize that this is not the career for me? In this video, by sharing my perspective of what I wish I had known before becoming a cybersecurity engineer, I hope I can help answer these questions for you now, starting with my background. I was born and raised in Nigeria and moved here to continue my high school education. After graduating from high school at 16, I took a gap year to figure out what I wanted to study in college, eventually deciding on cybersecurity. Although I was enrolled in college, I didn't feel like I was learning much. The curriculum was mainly general education and the material seemed surface level or outdated sometimes. And I knew this wasn't gonna get me far. So I decided to self-study cybersecurity. I started building my home lab, took various courses and certifications and learned everything I needed to become a cybersecurity analyst. This led to learning my first role as a cybersecurity analyst intern at an insurance brokerage firm right before the end of my freshman year of college. From there, I continued to build my skills and took up full-time cybersecurity roles throughout college are pursuing other certifications and working on various personal projects. This eventually led to my current job as a security engineer at Amazon. Now, I've shared my background because I wish I had known earlier on that there's no single path to becoming a cybersecurity engineer or get into cybersecurity. For a long time, I've actually regretted not having a computer science background, some coding experience, or offensive security-based training. Many of my peers come from these backgrounds and have sometimes felt at a disadvantage. However, after working as a cybersecurity engineer for several years, I've realized that it doesn't really matter. Ultimately, we all ended up in the same place, working at the same level, and on the same career trajectory, with some people, of course, being a bit further ahead than myself. Yes, having a computer science background can be beneficial, but there are many different paths to a cybersecurity role. This could include self-studying, certifications, personal projects, labs, and college education. And I've leveraged all of these to secure my first cybersecurity job as a college freshman, and I've continued to build my career from there. In fact, my college degree was in basic information technology. So if you're wondering whether you can become a cybersecurity engineer without a computer science degree, a cybersecurity degree, or a college degree in general, my answer is absolutely yes. Speaking of skills, the ones that will actually get you a job, get you promoted, and increase your pay are actually communication skills. There's this tech stereotype of nerds in hoodies or very quiet and introverted, they don't shower, or just have unpleasant attitudes. These types don't get far. Sure, they can land any job or get into any company and do whatever they want, but that's really where it ends. When I first started learning cybersecurity, the focus was mainly on hard skills. I had to learn Linux, Long, Cloud, Python, and a bunch of other things. These are definitely skills that you should know. However, about three years into my role as a cybersecurity engineer, I realized that those with strong people's skills who were building relationships and were good at communicating had many more opportunities. They were getting promoted, they were landing interviews, and securing more jobs than those who might have been more technically savvy but lacked a positive attitude. So I believe this is a lesson for all careers and not just cybersecurity, that you wanna have strong communication and people skills because these will actually open up opportunities for you, both in your current role and externally if you're looking for new jobs. And if you're looking to build your communication skills in a no pressure environment, I encourage you to join our Cyberworks Academy Discord where we have over 3,500 people in there and we're having conversations all the time, everything from cybersecurity to college, certifications, resume help, and other non-cybersecurity related topics like fitness, finance, anime, and other cool things. It will be linked in the description below. Now, when considering a career in general, salary is typically a significant factor. You see, back in Nigeria and in Africa in general, people often say that if you're not a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, or an accountant, you're considered a failure. This belief stems from the notion that these professions historically earned the most money. It was only recently that people discovered that technological careers, specifically cybersecurity, offer a path where if you're willing to learn new skills and build upon them, there are several ways to increase your income as your career progresses. So based on my experience, I want to provide you some realistic figures of what you can expect when looking into cybersecurity roles. Bear in mind that salary can vary based on location, experience, and industry. But here's what you can expect for an entry-level cybersecurity analyst role. At the very entry level, you can expect to earn around $50,000 to $90,000. And as a data point, my first full-time salary as a cybersecurity analyst was exactly exactly $50,000 after my six month internship. Within a year and some job hopping, I was able to start earning a little over $90,000 and then I got promoted and started earning a little over $100,000. As some people progress and move into more senior analyst roles and cybersecurity engineering roles, the salaries start to increase. And then if you decide to join big tech companies like Datadog, where I previously worked at, or Amazon where I currently work, or really any major tech firm, the salaries can start to exceed over $200,000. Then added 
added on stock options, RSUs, and setup bonuses, the total compensation can become exponentially larger. My point is that there are ample opportunities to increase your pay in cybersecurity if you're willing to put in the work. There's so much more you can achieve financially once you start learning more advanced skills and getting paid way more money. And still talking about skill building, I wish there was less emphasis on certifications and degrees and more on problem solving and critical thinking. Yes, some certifications are necessary to learn the basics and develop various skills. And also, college can sometimes be worth the experience. But what's more important is knowing when to use specific skills and concepts and how to solve a problem using those skills you've acquired over time. I still recall when I was first learning cybersecurity building labs and taking various practical trainings, many things were going right over my head. And this made me think that cybersecurity might not be the right career for me. However, once I learned how to apply what I was learning and realized that many aspects of cybersecurity are just abstractions and there's a lot you can learn on the job as long as you have a problem solving mindset, my perspective changed significantly. This realization boosted my confidence in my abilities and learning skills and also helped reduce my over reliance on certifications to learn new things. Now. Don't get me wrong, I still plan to continue earning certifications, but if you feel like cybersecurity is not for you just because some things go over your head when you're first learning them, I'm here to convince you otherwise. Nothing should stop you from pursuing a cybersecurity career path. As the years go by in my journey as a cybersecurity engineer, I find myself continuously learning and getting a deeper understanding of my field. And I've come to realize that the skill sets I've developed are not confined to a single area within cybersecurity. Rather, these skills are highly transferable and applicable across various cybersecurity domains. From cloud security to detection engineering, from incident response to offensive security, the skills I've honed over the years have proven to be valuable and adaptable in addressing different cybersecurity challenges and threats. I've also come to appreciate how these transferable skills extend beyond the technical aspects of my job. They've also helped shape my problem solving abilities, my critical thinking, and the way I approach complex problems both in cybersecurity and in the real world. I've learned to become a more effective communicator, capable of explaining complex cybersecurity security and non cybersecurity concepts to people of various knowledge levels. And in retrospect, each state of my career in cybersecurity has been a learning opportunity, not just in terms of acquiring new skills, but also in understanding how these skills intersect and how they can be applied in different contexts. With every new challenge, I've discovered new dimensions of my skills, learning more about their potential and the range of possibilities they provide in my career. So this should serve as an encouragement to you if you're just getting started to continue learning and expanding your skill set and to explore new cybersecurity domains with confidence that your skills will continue to be a strong foundation in whatever area of cybersecurity you choose to venture into. If you like this video, you should definitely check out this video about how my cybersecurity career progressed fast or this other video in which I shared why I quit my last cybersecurity engineering role I did a dog. Thank you so much and I'll see you there.